Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're experiencing an issue with Windows 11, where it says a Windows update is reverting changes, do not turn off your computer. So perhaps you're unable to boot into Windows, which is fine. But in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. So if you're unable to boot into Windows, you want to launch the automatic recovery tools, which if you do a hard power off three times in a row, meaning you let your computer turn on and then turn it off by pressing the power button three times, so doing three full power cycles basically. That should launch the automatic repair utility in which we're going to be heading into in today's tutorial. If you're able to boot into Windows in between some of these failed updates, we can get to that utility as well by opening up the start menu and then select the power icon and then hold down the shift key on your keyboard while selecting restart. So hold down the shift key Alternatively, if you have the Windows 11 installation media on a USB or DVD, you can just go ahead and boot your computer off of that and then launch the same options we're going to be going through in today's video. So basically what I just showed you guys, we're all going to be at this page here. So since we did it from within Windows, there's going to be an option to troubleshoot, reset your PC to see advanced options. Go ahead and select that and then select advanced options. We're going to select Startup Settings here, Change Windows Startup Behavior. So go ahead and left-click on that. And then we want to select Restart. And now we're going to tap the F5 key on our keyboard to enable Safe Mode with Networking. So I'm going to tap F5 on my keyboard. And that should get us into Safe Mode pretty quickly here. And now that we are into safe mode, we're going to go open up File Explorer. So I'm going to open up directly from my taskbar, but you can search for it in the start menu search as well. And you want to select this PC on the left side, so go ahead and double click on that. Or just single click on it one time. Go under your local disk and double click on it. Double click on the Windows folder. Locate the software distribution folder in here. And double click on it should be a download folder. Double click on that one as well. And now at this point, you want to go ahead and highlight over all of the folders in here or just do Control A on your keyboard to select all. And then you want to right click and select Delete. It's a little trash can icon. You can tap Delete on your keyboard too, that's fine. But that should hopefully have been pretty straightforward how to do that. And now that we're also in here, you want to also go and open up the little search magnifying glass. And you want to type in CMD. We're going to be opening up a command prompt window here, so just give me a moment. We can open up the start menu search as well, it doesn't matter, we can do either or here. So now what we're going to do is right click on the Windows Start button and we're going to select Task Manager. Select File and then Run New Task. Type in CMD and then select OK. And now close out of here. Now you want to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit Enter your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run so please be patient.
Okay, so once that's done, close out of here and go ahead and restart your computer. So you can just right click on the Windows Start button, select Shut Down or Sign Out, and then select Restart. And now that we're back in the Windows, go ahead and check for updates. So go ahead and select Check for Updates. And check for updates. And hopefully your issues should have been resolved. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.